done is from jobskillshare.org. Sometimes some of the IT calls are very, very small to fix. I mean, they're just very, like, you know, you just need to plug this in. So what are those calls? Let's take a look. They call and people will say, you know what, I'm trying to type on the keyboard, but nothing is working. Trust me. Even though it's a very basic thing, but still, people will forget to turn it on and turn this on. The mouse needs to be on and then everything starts working. Yeah, I know. It's something that, you know, you will think, oh my God, everybody would know this. No. Trust me, when people do conference and things like that, it's not that they don't know. Sometimes just people forget things and because they're doing multiple things at the same time. So for you as a new person, you shouldn't get, um, like, you know, um, your, your confidence should be there. You should just go make sure you relax because people are watching you. Then you just look at it. Okay, this is a keyboard. This is wireless. Something should be working. So if you turn it on, it's, it should work, right? Second thing is that sometimes you might have uh, people with, like, laptops uh, with the wireless stuff plugged in like this. So if you see that it's not working, so make sure the USB is connected because this is how it's connecting. So if there's no USB, because some, what happens is there might be two rooms and one people will take it out and put it in another room and now you might get a call that it's not working. And before you do any other troubleshooting, make sure you check the basics and then you can move on and you'll find either somebody moved it to another room or you'll find that maybe it's not fully plugged in or maybe somebody took it out because they wanted to plug their USB for their own presentations and that's why you might get a call. You may get a call that I am trying to log in into the laptop, but it's not working. I'm getting this error that, you know, some kind of uh, domain error. So what happened is that most of the time when people do conferences, they'll bring their own laptop. So they will unplug this wire, plug it into their laptop. And now what happened is that, uh, you know, since it's unplugged, you, would, you won't get any connection. So it's a very basic thing and it happens all the time. You just come back and plug this in. Sometimes people will try to like turn this thing on. It's not working because they, they might be not standing on in the right place where the signals are going. So you just need to come back all the way down here and make sure it will turn on like that. And sometimes you'll get a call that this is not working at all. Maybe they don't know how to turn it on. Like this one has a power right here on the right side. You can't even see that. So people will call you, I can't turn this on, or this is something wrong with it, there's no batteries in it, is this maybe they didn't turn it on, but even batteries things can be the thing, you can change the batteries, that's another call for you guys. You might get a call with the projectors, so you just need to know what projector you're using, these are the names on the bottom, go online, and if the projector is upside down, you just need to know how to play around with these buttons right here and to make sure you can just work on it and the best way is to look at the name of the projector do a little google search and learn some basic stuff on it how to reset a projector how to make it uh, you know upside down change the colors or make the text bigger you get you can get called by someone that the text is pretty pretty small can you make it bigger so it will be nice if you know this because people are going to be looking at you all over like 30 people so uh, you don't want to look dumb so just look at the number here the name and just do a little search and kind of like train yourself on it how to fax and how to copy um, i mean you're not going to get a call on how to copy things this is very strange if people don't know how to copy things but maybe definitely you'll get a call on how to fax um, a paper from here to your network drive so that's just something that you should look at your company's uh, printers and kind of go over with, once with your IT guy or whoever is your coworker. or maybe you go over once and you should learn that and then come back and do some practice so then you learn it so you're not you know you don't stuck in a call you're not getting stuck in a call where people will call you and now you don't know they don't know and you both are just playing around so yeah that's not a good scenario I need to help your system administrator or network engineer they'll probably ask you can you plug a computer and uh, you know connect a console cable which is this to the switch or router so you probably need to know how to at least do the basic stuff like how to connect the console cable to a router switch other after that they will take over it might not be your call maybe at some point maybe someone will tell you that can you plug a you know Ethernet to a switch port you know so at this point you will probably just bring a cable make sure you do the wiring correctly and plug it in that's all you need to do tell the person that I plugged it in 
Sometimes your computer might be having issue, like a user having some type of issue. Before you do anything, you know, if there was some updates, if there was some kind of upgrades, if there was some type of, you know, machine that was on for a long, long time, the best thing you can do is to first save everything and restart the machine. You know, I don't, it's, it's a very basic thing and most of people will forget this. They will do a lot of things and all the troubleshooting and everything at the end they'll find out that you know by restarting this 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 would have been fixed so uh, yeah that's a basic thing you should do any troubleshooting sometime you may get a call and this would be more of your either a manager or a system admin or network engineer needs your help to hey can you tell me the serial number of the switch, uh, the router, servers. So you need to know where to look. You know, it should be on the back side of it, serial number, service tag numbers, whatever you want to call it. So those are the type of calls that you might get, very basic things. And so you need to know. Now, this is not a troubleshooting thing, but you at least need to know where to find things, right? Even on a laptop, you need to know when you do a service on it, you need to know where the tag is. So flip it around, check on the back right, and you should see the numbers in there. Some of the calls basically relates to how you organize yourself for future calls proactive type of you know IT stuff so let's say for example uh, there was an issue with um, like some kind of uh, you know um, hardware or some type of uh, you need some type of like wiring so if you have everything organized what will happen is that issue will become a very small issue for you because you don't need to look for it anymore if there's a per person having a issue with a video card you'll just go oh I have another video card you just change it to that and that's it and, and this is something that you prepare to yourself ahead of the time and the best IT people would do this because uh, think about this in a, in a even in a help desk way if somebody machine goes down all you need to know, you need to know is if do you have the image or and or do you have another backup machine for that you know just for that backup so you can just get that backup machine plug it in the person is doing their work everything is getting saved on OneDrive Dropbox whatever they want to use it and then when you're done with your troubleshooting that's more advanced troubleshooting so then you can just say oh I got it fixed everything is good let me take my backup machine out from here so then I can use it for another person. And trust me, I'm not going to go and cite the computer basic calls that you know when people call you about an application is crashing, all you need to do is to put, sometimes you just need to like go to task manager, close the application, open it up again. Usually that happens with Outlook a lot. So you just do that. It's not like it's something wrong with it. Maybe they were just doing too many things. And at that one instance, this happened. And you just need to know basic stuff that you need. To, you need, you went to task manager and you closed it or you restart the computer. Uh, and other things like, you know, somebody is not doing something correctly. You just need to be more relaxed when you go to their, their, uh, their office and you sit down because they expect you to know things, right? But if you, even if you don't know, you can tell a person that you can look into it. But just for basic stuff, I would like you to do more of your own testing. You know, if you come across something that you didn't know and you kind of felt like, you know, I, I'm not looking good in front of this person, that's a good lesson for you. Keep that in your mind. Keep n note it down. So if something like that happened again, you know now, you know. So you learn some basic stuff, basic things. What I want you guys to learn is that your mind should be prepared for even small things like what I showed you. This might, might not make sense for someone who has so much experience, but it might make a lot of sense for someone who is brand new because you're going in, in front of you, you have 30, 40, 50, 10 people sitting and you're, they're looking at you. So just be relaxed. The first time, it's okay. You're going to go through this. You're going to get stressed the first time. That's just a, just a normal human nature. You are going to get stressed. So just prepare your mind for it. The first time and after that, everything will be cool you will have no problem at all but make sure when you have something like you know um, issues you need to make sure you do a little research when you do your troubleshooting so they're, you're more prepared next time in trouble in, tr in, in a software term if you're a network guy system admin you're going to that route your your help this your new person organization just like I showed you in hardware we have everything in there so if something happened I have the backup for it I have extra things for with me in the same way when it comes to on your desktop and you access so many different IP addresses so many different systems so you need to make sure you're organized and the best way I think is that keep a folder for each system so if servers keep a folder for servers 
if it's networking stuff keep folder for networking stuff keep folder for each different system so if after one year something happens like for example someone call you we need to upgrade this system so you can just go to that folder and you will see an upgrade documentation it's so easy but if you have it like all over the places and you have so many IP addresses you know have some some kind of system to manage these things life will be very stressed in IT this is why people do all these management tools and stuff like that so just look for your own tools you know you might be comfortable with something else other than folders so this was a quick video for you guys to kind of show you you know just basic stuff don't get stressed this is this is something that you will learn um, while you're on the job also make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe and make sure you share with other people so they can also get help just like you and me and together we can make big difference thank you